Today, we are going to explore or understand the enterprise architecture of AVD. Well, as you can see on my screen, this is the architecture created by Microsoft and I have borrowed it from Azure Architecture Center. As of now, we have covered uh, enough AVD so that we can go through this architecture and ultimately all those dots will start making sense. That is the reason I thought it's time to go through the architecture, enterprise architecture once, so that all the knowledge that we have acquired on AVD uh, will start making sense. And all those upcoming videos will also make more sense once we know where they, where they actually fit. All those terms, technologies, and various stuff fit. So let's get started. As you can see in this architecture right here, we have uh, on-premises right here, which is connected to the Microsoft Azure through Express Route. Okay. So we can easily understand this AVD architecture, this enterprise architecture is in hybrid mode and the endpoints, the application endpoints are in the customer's on-premises network right here, okay? Users from customer's network trying to access AVD via Express Route. And we have already covered the prerequisite, which, which is uh, required for the AVD, like Azure AD or ADDS. We can see this is on-premises ADDS server, which is uh, in sync with the Azure AD with the help of Azure AD Connect right here. Windows AD is also being extended to the Azure for the authentication purposes. And these are the two virtual networks connected through peering, we can see here. So to increase capacity customer uses to Azure subscription in a hub spoke architecture, and connects them through virtual network peering. This is the subscription one where we have AD, gateway, DMZ, desktop subnet. And this is the subscription two where we have the spoke. And both these uh, desktops are backed by Azure files or Netta files, as you can see as per the requirement of the organization. Netta files provide much more uh, performance as compared to Azure files, but it depends. If you need that much performance, then of course you should go with the Azure Netta files. These things we'll, we'll cover in the upcoming videos. Here, we're just trying to understand the architecture, how it actually looks like. So, Virtual desktop, and it still says Windows, it is Azure Virtual Desktop now. Control plane, this handles a web access, gateway, broker, diagnostics, and uh, REST APIs. These are extensibility components. We already talked about these components in the uh, past videos. And what else we need to explore in this one? We do have DMZ subnet for NVA, we can see that. Now, I don't think we need to go and talk about web access gateway broker, we have already did. What we can do, we can definitely see the components that customer manages or we will manage for the customer if we are managing the AVD for the customer. So what could be those components? Well, I can, I can see the very first component is the virtual network. 
it is in hub and spoke topology. So it's virtual network because uh, VMs communicate privately with each other and with the internet through virtual network. By connecting Azure virtual desktop host pools to an uh, AD or Active Directory domain, we can define network topology to access virtual desktops and virtual apps from the intranet or internet based on organizational policy. Well, we can connect AVD to an on-premises network using a VPN as we have seen in this enterprise architecture. Uh, we can use express route uh, or to extend the on-prem network into the Azure cloud. The point is we have to manage the virtual network and the connectivity. If, it, if it, let's suppose this is not the hybrid environment, this is the Azure environment, then we need, we do not need the express route. We do not need the VPN, but of course we need uh, Windows AD and Azure AD, AD Connect, or we can utilize the Azure AD domain services as well. AADDS, Azure Active Directory Domain Services. All right, so virtual network is something that we need to think, we need to manage. So we have to think and plan accordingly. Then Azure AD, because AVD uses Azure AD for identity and access management. So Azure AD integration applies Azure AD security features like conditional access, multi-factor authentication, and things like that. And uh, helps maintain app compatibility in domain joint VMs. So we have to think for Azure AD as well right here. We, we manage it. Then Azure virtual desktop VMs must join the uh, domains, of course, ADDS. And this uh, ADDS must be in sync with the Azure AD to associate users between the two services. You can use Azure AD Connect. We have already covered that part. Now, uh, a host pool can run the following uh, operating system that we already also talked about. Just, I just wanted to highlight here. These are uh, like uh, Windows 7, Windows, 10 enterprise and windows 10 enterprise multi-session and windows server 2012 r2 and above for windows 7 oh sorry for windows 7 10 or multi-session windows 10 enterprise uh, we, we we have a different licensing requirement but for server 2012 r2 there is rds scale that is needed these storage accounts that we have right here could be used for user profile or for the applications like MSXI app attach. These things are not covered as of now, but we will in upcoming videos. Now there is one more thing we have, we touched about, touched the topic workspace, the Azure virtual desktop workspace or tenant is a management construct to manage and publish host pool resources. Now, these are these are the uh, right here. Uh, you can see these are the host pools. These are the host pools. Now, it could be personal or pooled. And we talk if we talk about pool, it could be depth and the breadth load balancing that we have already covered. So I hope you can relate your AVD knowledge that you have acquired till now with this architecture and it will start making some sense. And once we cover a lot more topic in upcoming videos, everything would be absolutely crystal clear and we'll be good to go. So in this video, that's all. Well, thank you for watching and you have a good day. Bye-bye.